What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Scale News Update. If you're not familiar with the show, this is where we talk about the news topics that happened in the scale world of RC over the past week. If you enjoy the Scale News Update, hit the like button. Let's jump into this week's topics. First for this week, X Rider has released an ARTR version, or almost ready to run version, of their Sagittarius one quarter scale motocross bike. Uh, now, Obviously, the Low-C Pro Moto will be the closest thing that this is competing against. This is 570 bucks. Now, it is listed as ARTR, but it does come with the motor, the ESC, a gyro, and two servos. One a standard size and one a mini. You will need your own radio and batteries to make it complete. So, it's fairly complete, but not 100% RTR. Beyond that, 570 bucks again. So, it's close to that area, but it is a little less than the Low-C. As far as like comparison, this is the ARTR version. They've had the kit version out previously. Now the kit version did have some differences in parts specifically noted uh, in their listing was the addition of an actual functional rear brake in the kit. And that is not in place on this RTR. Don't see a ton of videos or people posting and things like that on the kit version. So not sure how good this may or may not be. If you're just a motorcycle collector, maybe it's worth it. Also, X Rider makes a number of other motorcycle kits. One, which is the Cafe Racer, I've always liked, never pulled the trigger on though. So if you're interested in this, this is being sold at Asia Tees. That's the only place I can find it currently. It does list it as in stock now. So if you're interested in that, go jump over there. I'll put a link in the description below, as well as links to the rest of today's stories. Next, another treat from Scale Garage Systems. Scale Garage Systems is the shop in Poland and they hand make these absolutely beautiful rack systems. This one is for the Land Rover Series 3, the short version. They showed before their longer version for this same type of Series 3 Land Rover. I don't like Series 3s, but they this rack can make one look good. These are all handmade, uh, a mix of like hand formed and laser cut parts all put together, 100% made out of aluminum, not very heavy at all. They make it for a ton of different body styles, but this is their newest and it looks fantastic, just like their photography and their paint skills on these trucks. So cool, so good looking. If you just wanna even go look at their website for all of the cool stuff that they've done, Go check that out. Otherwise, you can order one of these from them. Price is very reasonable for how cool these things are and for you know how handmade for what you're getting is. They're just super impressive. Definitely worth taking a look. Go check out them at the link below. Thanks again to Satisfied Jerky for sponsoring this month of the Scale News Update. If you're interested in saving 10% on Satisfied Jerky, there's a code below right over here put that below. Also, there's a code cowboy10 where you can save an additional 10% on the cowboy jerky specifically. Tons of awesome flavors, whether you like super hot, sweet, the bacon jerky is like ridiculously sweet. It's like candy. It's you got to limit yourself for real though. <laughs> also, anybody who uses the code during this month be entered into a chance to win a little custom Cato House Hornet uh, collaboration with Tamiya. Super awesome little 164 scale. Thanks again to Satisfied Jerky for sponsoring this month of the Scale News Update. Last week I posted about the Moon Buggy build along that I was posting. Uh, I opened up 50 spots for that build along. I thought that that was going to be plenty and I grossly underestimated uh, what that was going to be. And it sold out in an hour. And it made me feel terrible because I had to say uh, no to a large number of people because it's a build along. So everyone is interacting closely together. There's a lot of questions and I like to try and be as attentive as possible to those in that group. So I try and keep it somewhat reasonably sized. So just allowing more and more people in just didn't seem like something that was going to be a great idea. So I apologize for thinking that that was going to be something that wasn't going to sell out nearly as fast as it did. But as soon as the build along is completed, all of the files are done for all stages of the build. I'll get those packaged up and they will be available to you as soon as that is accomplished. That is probably as good as I can do. I, Again, I'm sorry that I underestimated how that was going to go, but I, I don't think that I would change the number. I think I would just change on how I 
emphasized it to people. So since it's a build along, not all of the files are complete. I have a lot of things to keep developing as we build. So that's why I can't just give it to anybody now already because it doesn't all exist. So once it all does, once it's been completed, then like I said, I'll distribute it out. And hopefully that will be good enough to satisfy some people. If you're interested in following along more closely with this build or just with the channel in general, I did open channel memberships to the channel. You'll see that below the video, you just say join right next to like where subscribe would be. Sometimes it's not on all iPhones and iPads. Sometimes you have to do it on a desktop. If you're interested, I've been posting just kind of like behind the scenes, 10 to 15 minute long, like, you know, more candid style videos going over in depth, the details and discussions about it. I've posted those, you know, just about every night. If you want to follow along more closely again with the channel overall or with the build specifically check that out again there's a little button below this video or if you just want to support the channel or the scale news update more that's a way to do it if not no big deal speaking of support after all of the build along members joined up and bought a bunch of steel stock car steel reached out and wanted to extend a discount code to anybody who watches the channel so if you would like to buy tubing for a project like this or any project you possibly have, you can go to stockcarsteel.com and use the discount code Harley Designs 2415. 24 for the year, 15 for the 15% 15 discount that you can get there. Typical steel that we use is 3 16 inch tube with 035 wall. I've linked down below to that very specific product on their website, which go check that out if you're looking for any of your needs. They sell a ton of tubing and metal of all kinds as well. So you just want to save a little bit next time you're ordering some steel, some aluminum, chromoly, whatever it may be, go check out Stock Car Steel. And thanks to them for reaching out and offering that discount to all of you. Last week, Associated released a 1 7th scale version of the Hunicorn. Now, we had seen and heard about teases of this platform for quite some time. I think we actually saw photos of the car at SEMA last year in September or October. October, but it's been officially announced. Now it is an all new platform and it's going to be very similar to the Armas in a number of ways. Now, people who are deeply involved with the Armas will likely be able to find the small differences here and there or large differences, whichever they may be. But to a lot of us, it's going to be very similar. The Hunicorn body is of course going to be something that's going to draw people in. Of course, the Hoonigan name itself these days, different than it used to be. But Underneath of that body, you'll find a platform that is set up similar with a mid-mounted motor, shaft drive, a four-wheel drive setup. It does come with belted, slick tires. This is a four or six S capable vehicle with dual battery setup. It does still come with Dean's plugs, which seems odd for a vehicle like this. A lot of times these larger scale vehicles run in high amperage you're going to find beefier battery plugs on them, XT90s, EC5s, you know, ones that are capable of handling a lot more amperage. Dean's plugs are pretty low amperage capable connectors. Uh, so that's that's interesting on its own. Uh, beyond that, it was it, the release kind of, I think that it's because they already make this Hunicorn in two different scales. And maybe it just kind of blew past people that it was what it is because it just didn't seem to make huge rounds around social media, things like that. Uh, their video was super short. It didn't really show a ton of the vehicle outperforming. It, you know, it was not an Arma level production, of course, just Arma does pretty amazing videos. This was just kind of quick, a few little drifts around and driving under a truck really about it. It just really didn't highlight a ton of the vehicle. It seemed really odd for launching an entire new platform to not have more of a push or more, uh, you know, visibility on the entire project. So not 100% sure there. Be interesting to hear if you guys saw it just naturally around uh, social media. Did you see videos pop up in your YouTube feed? Did you see Instagram posts, Facebook posts from people about the new vehicle, things like that? Be interested to hear just because I feel like I didn't see it myself. It didn't pop up for me almost anywhere. I heard about it in someone else's live stream. So no idea. It seemed just very odd. Be interested to hear what you guys thought or what you saw or if you saw anything yet. 
New over at A-Main, something you don't see over there often, they added a new brand called Goat Guns. These are little scale models, and I've actually got to play around with these at NURSA last year. Goat Guns was at the convention, displaying up there, showing, and they were a lot of fun to play with. Uh, fun little desk toy, or if you've got something large scale, as they are quarter scale, then you could use it as some sort of scale accessory. But if you just want something that, you know, they're functioning, you can you know, rack them or bolt action, like all, if you're a fan of that world at all, cool little, cool gifts, cool just in general. Go check out all the models they have. There is a ton. I feel like I need a Barrett for my desk. Also new from Amin is they launched a new brand called Upgrade RC. This is a new proprietary in-house brand like EcoPower or ProTech. And Upgrade RC just seems like a pretty generic name in general, but it may seem familiar for more reasons than that. Upgrade RC used to be a brand that made radio and charger skins, you know, chassis skins for the bottom, basically stickers that you put either on radio or body charger, things like that. And I wondered if there was any connection between them until I was reading the post, saw the name that was attached to it, did some searching and did find that it is, they basically must have purchased the brand and then they're not going to use any of the identity that the brand was before, since radio skins, they're, their new product launch was four different tires, you know, proprietary new designed tires, mainly for bashers. So they've got a number of different tread patterns and things like that. 17 millimeter hex, I believe is what they're uh, made to go with standard. Although I think that they may also come with an adapter for other types of cars or other sizes of cars. But it looks like the previous owner is still working with A-Main and more is going to be coming from the brand, as they say. So looks like they really wanted the name and they're gonna make it fit with their new vision for it. So it'll be interesting to see what upgrade or pay main, what they've got in mind for their new direction with it. For you Vanquish VRD owners, there was two new chassis I saw pop up this week. One from GMRC, Green Mountain RC. Uh, they've got a class one specific chassis they're calling the Carnivore. And then the Artful Dodgers also released a new chassis this week for it called the Pathfinder. I think both are utilizing the VFD stubby conversion style. So they're moving the skid plate forward, keeping the servo up on top of the axle and just shifting it forward, making it more of a forward bias style chassis. So if you're looking for new options, these are both forward bias versions and something you may be interested in. And this week for Livestream Takeover. Matt's going to be late, but I've got the two organizers from the We Are C Rock Nationals going to join me for the first portion of the stream while Matt plays with go-karts. David, Ty, and myself are going to be talking about the event coming up this June in Morrison, Colorado, where Matt and I will be going to join them in playing with buggies. I'm really looking forward to the event, really looking forward to what everyone builds to bring to the event as well, and always enjoy talking about buggies. So join us on Wednesday, 6 p.m. Pacific, 9 p.m. Eastern, hear a little bit more about the event. But that's going to do it for this week's news topics. For this week's question, feels like things have been kind not oh there's not been a lack of new but things are oddly calm or quiet in certain areas it just feels like i'm, I'm not 100 percent sure what's going on so let's go with one of my favorite styles of questions is what do you think is coming what what's new what's going to happen what's just over the horizon in the world of rc scale crawling go fast racing whatever it is what do you think is going to happen soon. Big releases, big buyouts, implosions, whatever it may be. Put your conspiracies down below. Let's talk about them. I'd love a good, I love a good theory. And if you don't have any theories to add, just drop your favorite color. But that's going to do it for this week's scale news update. As always, I appreciate you guys for watching the news every Tuesday. Hit the like button if you enjoy it. Subscribe if you're not already. Consider joining channel members if you're interested. As always, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.